I'm struck by the groupthink in the political establishment at the moment in relation to the forthcoming referendum. I'm struck at the way people champion the presence of politicians, for example, at yesterday's launch of Yes Equality, when we all know there are probably as many politicians in this House opposed to that referendum as there are in favour of it, but they simply dare not speak. The chink you get when you hear somebody like a Labour TD, a distinguished TD, Willie Penrose, say it's best to let this, leave this issue to people to decide for themselves and saying he knew a family where two people were on one side and two people were on the other. Well, where are the politicians uh, to represent the vast number of people uh, in our country who have serious reservations about the impact of what is proposed on children's rights, on the rights of children to be brought into the world or to be brought up by a father and mother? And finally, in relation to the whole business of smacking. What is at issue here is a defence of reasonable chastisement, that parents can offer that defence in a court case. It's not that people have a right uh, to uh, physically punish their children. It is there, there is that defence there. I don't know whether that defence should change. I can see the arguments for taking it away. But I would be far more impressed with the so-called advocates of children's rights if they would abandon their dereliction of duty around children's right to be brought into the world or brought up by a father and a mother. Their silence on this issue are worse than silence. Their abandonment of support for children's right to a father and mother reflects no credit on them. And that's a far more important and relevant issue in the life of every child. Uh, and I really wish uh, they would abandon the group think uh, and start reflecting what a lot of people regard as common sense.